Hello everyone, uh, not Matty D here, and I wanted to make this video to show my concern for Matt the Benedetto recently. I mean, uh, I saw that Twitter post of him on his Instagram of him eating dog food, and you know, I'm not sure why he's eating dog food. I mean, that's that's not normal for anyone to be eating dog food or food or like anything. I mean, you know, I just hope he's not falling into some depression state because. You know, he still has not found a ride yet, and the season starts in a month, and he's, he has yet to find a ride, and to be honest, that is really concerning to me, and, you know, I should have realized that, but I've just been in denial, like, oh, he's going to get a ride next year, like, oh, yeah, no, no team's not going to hire him, someone's going to consider him, but, yeah, he still has no offers yet. You know, but there is still some teams that maybe could hire him, but, you know, with the issue of sponsorship, you know, he doesn't bring any sponsorship. He's basically been, been funded his whole career just by sponsors already being there. And to be honest, him not having a sponsor with him is definitely going to hurt him because, you know, these days in NASCAR, oh, you just need some sponsor or some rich daddy or someone to just help you race and that's kind of just been the norm of NASCAR now and if he doesn't have a sponsor then he's not going to get into some teams like you know the reason why Landon Castle was able to get Caldy because is because you know, he had Voyager and you know he had cryptocurrency and to be honest that is concerning because you know he's not going to get many rides without sponsorship I mean, if the sponsorship is there, great, but if it's not, then he's going to have a problem. But, but, you know, if he does end up going out of NASCAR and being forced out, I don't know what I'll do. I mean, I've been a NASCAR fan since 2012, and, you know, I, I was originally a Kane fan, but then after 2018, um, I didn't know who I was going to go for. Until I decided to just take a chance on Matt since he was the new driver of the 95 and You know, I really thought he was this cool and humble dude I mean, I do remember you know seeing him in the 2018 Daytona 500 and I kind of wanted him to win but then he got caught up in you know a big one late, but I Don't regret supporting Matt the Benedetto. I mean Yes, while he's not really been impressive He's not really been, you know, the best for his, you know, two years at Wood Bros. He's had some flashes of, you know, potential. I mean, you know, he did have that moment at Bristol where he honestly should have won. Though, Hamlin likely would have caught him. And, you know, he should have won a lot of races. Though, NASCAR at Talladega decided to be, decided to just be dumb. And, you know, yeah, I can see why people don't really think he should be given, like, some top-tier ride or maybe some decent ride. It's, you know, <laughs> he has had his chance, so, you know, I do think no practice and qualifying definitely, you know, didn't help him. I mean, it definitely didn't help some teams, and, you know... I just really think that hindered him a little. I mean, Matt's mostly a uh, top 15 to 10 driver with that 21 car, and you know, you can honestly tell that practice and qualifying hurt him because, you know, he's had some very poor runs, you know, sometimes, you know, and I honestly think that's where practice and qualifying could have helped him. I mean, you know, I don't think Matt's been bad at Wood Brothers, it's just he hasn't been all impressive, you know, other than those the two second places at Las Vegas last year and both races, you know, yeah, he's not really been all that outstanding, but, you know, I don't think he's a bad driver. I think he's decent. It's just, you know, 
with him saying, let's go, Brandon, and then, you know, all the other stuff he's done, I mean, that may hinder him from getting a ride, and, you know, I really did not want to say it was going to, because I really thought he was going to get a ride, I mean, I really thought some teams were going to consider him for a ride, and, but, you know, yeah, the season starts in the month and he still hasn't had anything and that really concerns me because the teams aren't going to come to him and he's got to go to them and negotiate and, you know, the season starts in the month and he, and he can't be just sitting in his house waiting around, just, you know, waiting for some offer. He's got to, you know, offer the team and he's really not helping himself and... You know, Matt, if you do happen to watch this, I'm, I'm really concerned about you, buddy. I mean, I, as much as I still want to keep supporting you, even after Let's Go Brandon, as much as I want to, you know, still think that you have potential and you could still get a ride, there's a chance that maybe you might get forced out of NASCAR and I don't know what I'll do after. So, Matt, please, just keep trying, I mean, and you you definitely have to stop just sitting on your butt and just hoping some team will say, hey, Matt, um, we decided to offer you a ride at our team. I mean, that's not really how it works. You got to go to them and ask, though, yeah. There's a chance they may not be able to accept you, and they probably won't because of your past things. But you know, if they do, um, you at least gotta hope that sponsors aren't an issue, and that they may have sponsors available that can cover. Though, yeah, you really won't get anywhere without a sponsor in NASCAR these days. So. Yeah, I would look for a sponsor as well, but I just really hope that you get a ride because you definitely don't deserve any of this going on to you and you you really don't deserve to be forced out of NASCAR just because you said, let's go Brandon or, you know, living on the earth in 2021 as like sensitivity training or any of the other stuff you did, like, you know. I really hope that doesn't stop you from getting a ride and you know I really think that you have what it takes to be probably a capable driver you know you can you can probably be some driver like Jamie McMurray maybe Clint Boyer but you're done I, I know you're definitely not gonna be some driver like Jimmy Johnson or Chase Elliott I mean I definitely know you're not but you can at least be a decent and serviceable driver that has potential and you know you really don't tear up and crash many cars I mean yeah you did a few times in 2019 but um over your combined Woodward stats you only you only DNF'd you know three times and you know to be honest that isn't really bad I mean that shows that you can keep the car out of trouble and you don't, you know, tear it up. So that is a positive, though. Not many teams will be looking at that. So. Uh, but that's basically all I have to say in this video. Um, I'm just really concerned about Matt because, yeah, Bob said that he still hasn't found anything yet. And, you know, he really got to start trying because... The season starts in a month and he still has no ride and it's either now or never for him because you know if he gets forced out of NASCAR then well yeah he's likely done unless some team wants to get him part time and I wouldn't care I mean at this point I wouldn't really care if he goes anywhere I mean even though I don't want him to go to Rick Ware but you know if he if that's the only thing available left for him, well, then hell, I'll let he can go to he can go to Rick Ware. 
but you know he's really Matt you really got to start you know finding something because you know you really can't keep waiting around you're just hoping some team will just call you one day you know you got you got to call the teams and go to them yeah, but that's all I have to say in this video I hope you enjoyed watching and Please consider subscribing if you haven't. I've noticed that almost 90% of you that watch this channel aren't subscribed. So please consider subscribing. And I, I hope you all have a nice day. So thank you all for watching.